Like most teenagers, Doris is caught between two worlds. The world of childhood and the world of adulthood, the world of her past and the world of her future, and between her desire to fit in and her desire to spread her wings. If I Could Fly is her story and this week's pick. Doris's search to find a place where she belongs starts on page one when she discovers that her passionate diva mother has abandoned the family to go back to Puerto Rico. Though on some level Doris understands her mother's desire to take flight from their constraining, poverty-ridden barrio, Doris is, understandably, traumatized by her mother's departure. Predictably, Doris spends some time rebelling, but the barrio's grim realities, as well as Doris's basic goodness, quickly bring her back to her senses. Still, it's not until she spends the summer in Puerto Rico with her mother that Doris really grapples with the question that concerns her most. Will she ever figure out her destiny? One of the most memorable aspects of this novel is its symbolic use of birds. Now, sometimes when a book pounds you over the head with a certain metaphor, it ends up not really working. If I Could Fly is, for the most part, an exception. The striking images of the pigeons on the roof of Doris's apartment building, combined with Doris's gradual realization that she has wings and that she can use them, make for a beautiful coming-of-age metaphor and a beautiful book.